here with a quick chiller reaction and some thoughts. So I'm going to give you my thoughts after the trailer reaction. Uh, this is for the first EVE Online mobile game. I've got some thoughts. So this was revealed at uh, EVE Vegas. It was part of the same reveal as uh, Project Nova, which, if you've seen my earlier videos, has since been pushed back until who knows when. And from what we're seeing in the trailer, it's it appears to be a pretty direct translation of EVE Online to the phone. Okay, so... I'm just going to start out by going all the way back to the beginning to a name we all should recognize. Netty's Games, the infamous partner with Blizzard in bringing Blizzard titles to mobile, which you guys probably remember from the disastrous BlizzCon presentation. Uh, there's been some really great videos made about that, uh, particularly by the Yong Ya. Uh, he has some great videos on his channel. But so, NetEase is notorious for microtransactions in their games. And it's a name that in mobile gaming is understood to port, uh, portend nickel and diming. Now, usually I would be really, really angry about this, but I'm not. So I'm gonna just break it down really quick why I'm not angry, and I'm gonna give us something to look at that isn't the NetEase logo here. Okay, so EVE Online is a subscription-based game, as I well know since I've been because I've been playing this game for the last eight years, and I love it. I love playing EVE, and I have no regrets about setting aside X amount of money per month to pay for my subscription. But CCP Games introduced the Alpha Clone, which is the free-to-play version of EVE, where you can play, you can do a lot of things, but you can't fly the more advanced ships uh, when they introduced it. But they've been expanding Alpha Clones, which I find really exciting. Because the more there is that people can do without paying, the easier it is for me to go to my friends and say, hey, there's this game, I've been playing it for eight years, I'd love it if you would play it with me. So having the Alpha Clones is really good for bringing new people into EVE Online. And the more you expand it, in my opinion, the easier it becomes to hold on to those players. But here's a problem. EVE Online is a beautiful game, and it's a game that's constantly expanding and growing and becoming more com more complex and more intricate with more ships and everything that comes with it and new story elements and new events. That shit is really expensive. That is really expensive to do because you have to pay upkeep on the servers, you have to hire artists, story writers... 3D modelers, 2D artists. It's, it's ridiculous how much work goes into keeping something like EVE Online alive. And that money has to come from somewhere. Which is why I'm not angry about microtransactions in an EVE Online mobile game. Because... CCP needs the money. They really do. Yes, they have their merchandise, but it's not exactly a plethora of merch. 
they have the subscriptions, but the more they expand alpha, the fewer people are going to be subscribing. You see the problem here? The further the game goes, the more they need to invest in merchandise, like the book. Uh, the books they have, uh, Universe of Eve, uh, the Art of New Eden, uh, the Frigates of Eve, which I have. I love that book. I have lost track of how many times I've read that book, and I desperately hope that they make books just like it to give you guides to every other ship class, because they should, and they should make ship guides for the non-faction ships. That's just my opinion, sidetracked. The point is, CCP needs to make more money. And microtransactions, unfortunately, dirty as that word is, and I think it is a word that should be dirty, um, one way or another, CCP Games needs to make the money to continue developing the game that we love. That's, that's, the, that's the gist of it, and that's why, even though I don't plan on playing EVE Online Echoes, because I'm not a huge fan of mobile gaming, personally, I'm not as angry about this as I would be about seeing uh, microtransactions in other games. Uh, Assassin's Creed, for instance. Oh, wait. That kind of happened. Not not going to go into that. But, so, slightly rambly way of me saying, sometimes, maybe microtransactions fulfill a functional role. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. Love to hear what you guys think about EVE Online coming to mobile, and about EVE Online coming to mobile in partnership with the infamous NetEase. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you want to see more gaming content from me. Until next time, I'm Z. This has been Vukari Gaming, and I'll see you all out in the verse.